Just cut off, just yeah. cut off. Yeah, now you see. Now there's no need to do pucks on now because now we've got a bit slow, now you see. So again, punch it off. Punch in. Punch in. Good, yeah. But now he's all done. And now I'll puck. Okay, like, the side. Yeah? Then I'll puck. Stay in. So, be careful. When you go in, you have to what's bottom here and what's the footwork. So you see the footwork. If that foot is here, and I think, and go back to the top row, um, deal. You see, that's okay. Top section is alright, but the bottom section is not. If I go here, you, um, Rob would treat me. There you see. So what I've got to do is go, boom, tip the leg at the same time. Yeah, if Rob did towards me, you will see the indoor. There you see. Now, go palm, Rob. Yeah, yeah. Good. Palm, sorry. Yeah. Good. So you check, and you see the bottom of the, of the, the, the leg is still checked. But like I said, step back a little bit, Rob, then you see, or we'll sweep it. And sometimes when someone comes towards you here, and you come towards me, yeah, you got that one? Now you got me square, Rob, so good. Not square, I will still get through. So go through again. Okay, go through, and come through the other leg. Good, so you see. Go again. Now this boot consists of from ceiling time. Left in straight line palm, yeah, and the palm across. So you've got two movements at one time. But in CM Tower, you don't be sent forward, you don't go forward at all, you stay the same way. So you always see CM Tower this way, then you see CM Tower this way, combine both together, pucks up, then step forward. So you're doing three movements at one time. It's very, very hard. So you've got to train yourself to do all three things at one time, even under pressure. Maybe Rob punched me, I'm, see, I'm scared, but you see. You see my structure, he punched me. Yeah, he doesn't take towards me. But if he punch me, and you see, huh? I'm confident in my, my technique. And trust my technique, I'll go forward. Go again. Now you see that one is bent a little bit for a reason. That means it's stored the energy. Real situation, you just push out, and you see that. But if the person comes and you store, you you you, you um, store the technique, he might try to punch you, and you see, you go again. But if you don't know the person, you go straight through and you fall down completely. So, when you try each other, it's not to damage each other, it's to learn from each other. Not to try to say who's going to win, who's going to lose. It's a study. The art form is a study. When you the art form you study with, to know every little other points. Why you do this, why you don't do this. So when I go with Rob and he put me, yeah, he checked everything. Yeah? Everything. Yeah. And now, when we say we play, it looks up, we're just growing the hands. Just to feel. Each other arms. You see? But when I say a movement, Rob will do a movement. Go Rob. Good. Another so movement. Now you see. Think of him will come out. Go Rob. Now I'm throwing, I'm thinking something. Good. Go again. Cut in. Go again. Go Rob. Go again Rob. Good. Go again. Go again. Good. Let's go over here again. Go again Rob. Go again Rob. Go again. Go again Rob. Go again. Go again. Good, good, good. Now, what I'm doing is it feeding him hand movement so he can practice technique like a dummy. Okay? So, if I feel nothing at all, how do you know we can do something or not? So, I feed him something to see the reflection of the technique coming out. But obviously, it's a stage of it by learning the techniques first with the drills, putting to practice in harmony, and also being comfortable with the technique. So, many movements we practice, very much help me. Now you see, in, in here, yeah? Pull up by here. But you might pack again, and you see I change here, pull up by here. You might pack again, you see, I open him, pull up by here. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Many ways of doing pull up by. Yeah? So you might see, you might pack again, and you see, pull up by here, open here. Mm -hmm. But you might see from here, palm here, and palm here. Yeah? Or he might try to tuck my arm down, and you see the other way, and palm here. Yeah? So, many ways of doing techniques, yeah? So when we do movements, we just play the movements. Good. Now you see from here, yeah? From here he's got two joints. So he can push me, pull me, whatever he wants to do. Yeah? But say his body's not square enough, he turns his trees there, well you see. Yeah. Now he could be square. So back to your CM Tower again, we'll teach you to be square. 
So you guys do see your tail going this way. Yes? Squid. And you see you punch. Some people punch this level. Yeah? It's because a long time ago, many people, Chinese people are short. So when they punch, the Chinese person is so frightful, he punched here. So we Westerners want to learn from them and copy them exactly the same way. So their punch end up here. In fact, your punch will be your own chin height. If I punch here for Rob, I'm practicing now. Example. There's my punch. Now, Rob can just pew. What's the line? Here. Because the punch is so low. So if I punch my chin height, then I'll cover myself. So we say, what's the right way? You go by your own structure, your own body structure. So when you see punching, what is your chin height? Don't punch here. Yeah? So it's very important. So, so if Robert punch here, you punch here, Rob. You punch low. What's, what's that? Do you see clearly? What's the line? Let me punch here. Yeah? He can stop the line. Let me punch a bit lower. Goes through the line. So sometimes people punch, there's some care. Yeah. Everything is done for a reason. Yeah? So sometimes you've got to ask why we do this and why we do that. And then you've got to test it, see does it work or not. You can't just say, oh, I can do it. You've got to say, why does it work? If he knows nothing, he punches me. And I go, hey, move again. He knows nothing. I can do many, many things. He move again. Many, many things I can do. He move again, and you see. He punch again. Many things. So if I stand like a dummy and rub the me, it works. Right? Of course it looks very, very nice, but the person you're fighting is like a dummy, not doing nothing. But now, if he taps me, now you see, we both counter movements. Go, 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 go. Every movement is a movement. Go. So, so you see, nothing's rehearsed. But it's with control. Go on. Right? Good. So everything's with control. Even I pull him, you can see his elbow, see? When I pull him, he use his shoulders. So, so you see them tower, you also have shoulders. But you don't go this way, that way. You just hit here. But if Robert pulls me, you will see shoulders. Yeah? Yeah. If he pulls me, I mean, this, then hit. Yeah. If it really hits me, this one, then you see, I'll go here. So every, everything is checked in a position. Yeah, so um, now you see why yeah. every movement you practice jumps out, yeah, turns out, hooks out, high hooks out, yeah. bones out, soldier, arm. Yeah. Every, all these movements are there for a reason. Yeah? 